Hi guys, welcome back. We are again in PO Tech Tips. So I'll discuss today related to internet because internet nowadays are necessities. So because um it's like we need it in our I mean it depends on how you use but it, we usually need it on our everyday lives like from um schooling because we are now using online schooling, work, work from home, um entertainment for kids, yeah, uh, social media, do those things right so internet nowadays like um you need it then um and you know uh, internet connection in philippines is not quite good so and sometimes there's always a downtime from um each telco so what i'm gonna discuss here is um i i bought um load balancer i just already last like, around last year um, so the purpose of this one is um, I'm trying to combine the speed of my internet provider and as well as uh, uh, have a seamless internet connection. Let's say the other internet connection is down. Let's say uh, your globe connection has been down. So the other connection, let's say PLDT, can still work. So without any uh, glitch on that one. So, and also to to balance the load because, um, uh, you know, nowadays kids are always watching YouTube. So, and then you're doing work and you're doing uh, meetings, calls. So, load balancer will help you to um, prioritize uh, the, the calls over those uh, streaming so that it will not suffer your, your work or your homeschooling. So, I, I'll show you how I did it or uh, use that. TP Link R470. So I'll show you how I do the setup and how it may help you. Hi guys. So this is how my network setup looks like. So I have the PLDT, Home Fiber, this one, and this is the TP Link network switch that I also did a review earlier. And this is the TP Link load balancer broadband router yeah. so this is the tl470 plus so it has five ports so i'm currently using three ports so this one goes to the pldt connection and this one goes to my globe connection and this one goes to the router and hub so to distribute the my internet connection so i'll show you where it goes the internet <sighs> So this is the globe connection and it goes up here at the back. Yeah, I'm going to my broadband load balancer. So you can also notice guys, I have um, DIY uh, router cooler. So this is only made from um, desktop fan that I made so that it will help you stabilize your connection to, to less heat and those things. So yeah, this is a fan you can see with an LED light. Okay, I'll show you now how to do the configuration of this TP-Link R470 Plus. Okay guys, so before I go to the configuration of that one, so don't forget to click the subscribe and hit the notification below. Okay, yeah, say hi. Okay guys, so I'm now in the configuration page of the TP-Link uh, 3470. So, just need to access it. So, once you log in, okay, so you can see here the system status, network. So, in the network, where this where you need to define your one or wide area network or your internet so basically you can assign at least four internet connection but for mine i'm using only two so i have one one and one two which is one one means pldt one two is for glue so just a tip for uh um you need to ensure that um, the ip address of those two modems are different because if you want to combine here and they are using the same ip address it can cause some some conflict based on, on what i what happened to my setup so what i did is for let's say for the first one i put it as a static ip so and then yeah so put the ip the new ip address of that modem 
that should be different from the other one and this you can see here the upstream and band and downstream so this is the speed of your internet connection so you just need to define what's in your plan so if your plan is 25 mbps you add here 25 mbps so let's say from this other one it's just a globe one the dsl so i just put dynamic and put the upstream and down down download stream or downstream so downstream is 10 mbps the download one and upstream for dsl is usually slow so it's only around 2 mbps so the reason why you need to update this upstream downstream is this will be your load balance or um calculation for ratio and proportion on when on what's the capacity of each network so you need to define that <coughs> it will not change if i mean if you make it lower so it cannot maximize the um, capacity but if you make it exceeded on based on its capacity it can also cause some issue because you will try to push on that network but it is still uh, getting you slower connection so just set it up based on your plan so the next one is the LAN area network so this is where you need to um, if you want to set up uh, uh, we call this your devices so from for mine so in you can see here the address reservation thing so these are the list of uh, devices that i have so i configured it so it will have a defined uh, ip address for all of those so the reason i'm doing this one is because i'm controlling the bandwidth control um before i'm using that let's say for kids this is only the um, speed or for the guests so that's why i have an address uh, using the mac address but for now i'm just usually using it for your guests not defined to this so you will be like in, in a, a cup bandwidth so you can choose all the bandwidth that i have so i just skip the other one yeah preferences so before i'm using this ip group so i think i still have for the guests or yeah or others yeah <coughs> so yeah before I'm, I'm using this one to segregate what will be the ip address for for my work or for the kids and, and for the guests or for the others then i can set up um what bandwidth can be used for all children for each of those type if you want to it depends on your uh, case um or you can define like say a time range when this can be uh, have some internet connection or not before i'm trying to use that but i already removed it because i mean it's better to just remove the gadget of your kids rather than removing the internet. Then transmission, this will be the band bandwidth control. So what I mentioned, right, for this sample, I enable the bandwidth control. So anything that falls under my guess will only have like 5 MBVS of upstream and downstream connection. And he will use all, I mean, he can prefer to use both network for those 5 mbps or let's say if you are using an lte it's cap right so maybe you want only those unlimited one will be the guest um thing but if you if they will i mean let's say you have an lte so you don't want the lte to be used by the other so you can ignore or remove this direction because this direction will mention you if um you can use one one and one two or plt or globe or you can both so for me i use this boat for now because i don't have issue on i mean on the capacity <coughs> or on on the uh, limit then this is the load balancing okay so yep so this is a setup for load balancing so you need to enable this load balancing so it could properly uh, balance the connection and at the same time it can also throttle or use both connection at the same time so this later i will show you guys that um the speed is now much faster compared to just a 25 mbps thing so enable application of the optimized routing so i'm not using this one because um all my application is fine working without this because what does it does is it will not combine your speed so it's either let's say you are um watching youtube so the packet, data packets will only be sent on one uh, internet provider depending on who is available or who is uh, sub -sub capacity but if you have enabled only load balancing it can throw those connections on both uh, 
telco so let's say um, the globe still have like a 1 mbps capacity and the PLS at 10 mbps so he can <coughs> send those data there so that it can be a uh, smoothless one but some application can cause issue but so far for mine all of the application i'm using there is no issue on it okay firewall i will skip that one so uh, the other thing is more so let uh, let's go to the speed test okay so guys yeah i'm doing the speed test now so i have 25 mbs for my pldt so let's see how it looks like so yeah so i'm hitting around 35 so what i'm expecting because 25 from pldt and 10 from loom upload is um, much much faster so you can see guys so i have 35 mbps and 44 so let me try to turn up my globe modem and see what will be the sp speed like when using pldt okay guys so I will... okay guys this is without the pldt oh sorry without the globe uh, connection so let's try what will be the speed without the globe internet connection so this will not reach around i mean I'm suspecting around 20, yeah, 29. So it, it will be below 30, definitely below 30. I mean, um, sometimes PLDT get, getting um, getting a faster speed than 25 Mbps. So it does it. It means only that my DSL globe is now giving me slow internet thread speed. So maybe around 6 Mbps out of the 10. But that seems sometimes normal. It's not stable to that we will always reach around 10 mbps from a dsl line but for fiber that should be but since i'm using only dsl for globe so my 10 mbps uh, fluctuates from 6 to 10 mbps so currently now it's around 6 6 x 6 mbps extra boost compared to earlier right when i have the globe one uh, the download speed uh, kick up around 35 mbps okay thanks guys